Hello YouTube, this is Borkwinix, uh, another video, um, I want to show you a nice new product and excuse me for my annoyed voice, but this is the fourth time I am trying to shoot this review for the exactly the same time and I need to say exactly the same words because I think there is something wrong with my micro SD or my new GoPro I am recording this video with. So here we go for the fourth time. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and uh, have fun. So here we have the, the GPS tracker I want to talk about. A lot of people have been um, talking about they use GPS trackers for UAVs, drones, quadcopters, whatever you want to call it. And basically um, I found this one, which is in my eyes better than a TK-102. Um, why? Because it is lighter, because it is smaller, because it is more battery life, and because it has a speaker which basically makes you able to call it from uh, your phone and it will ring so if you point, pinpoint its location and then go to its location uh, and you still can't see it because it's in the trees or it's in the grass you can just call it and it will ring and then you will hear it so that's a really nifty feature um, and yeah you can also uh, could give this one to your kids if they're outside or whatever you can just uh, make them call or you can call them and it can basically work as a cell phone so let me show you uh, the functions of this device there are two LEDs here uh, and three buttons on the front side uh, this uh, blinking what I just did is for just saying it is working and in standby um, this is key number one this key number one will call my iPhone um, because the master sim master number is inside my iPhone this is the SOS bot. This will send GPS coordinates to my uh, iPhone. This is call number two. This is a programmable button. You just put some other number on it. Now we go to the sides. This is a port for a lanyard. You can just put a lanyard in here. This is the power button. I think this is a microphone. This is for the USB for charging. Uh, mini USB. This is the speaker. This is the slot for the SIM. My, uh, micro SIM. I think this is another microphone. And that's pretty much it. The backside has nothing on it. Um, I've put a piece of tape here because there's a spring uh, behind the slots of the SIM. And it's really, um, it's a strong spring so it pushes the SIM card out a little bit. So I've just put a little bit of tape in it so it uh, doesn't pop out. Um, so yeah, uh, let me show you how does this device work. So I'll press the first key, number one, and then you will see how it calls my iPhone. And as you can see the power button hangs up. Now I can also call the tracker. Here we go. Now you will hear that this one roaring. It's not really loud or something but it does get the job done I guess. When you're especially 10 meters close. Alright, so that's how that works. Um, like I said, there's two LEDs here. Um, let me get into that a little bit. The top one is for the reception of the GPRS or the cell tower. So this one will blink if it has a cell, if it can find the cell towers. Basically, it's range. Um, this one is the GPS. Um, if both uh, blink rapidly at the same time, then it will uh, as a GPS lock and it will send a location of the GPS to your phone in uh, in a Google Maps link. Um, if this one blinks slowly and this one blinks really fast, like half a second, um, then it will only send the link to the cell towers by uh, trackanywhere.arc. So that's how that works. Uh, let me actually show you. I will text it right now. DW hashtag send. As you can hear the iPhone just send it. Now you will see it will, the LEDs will go on and you will, that means basically it's trying to get a track. Blue means it's trying to find a GPS lock. And uh, orange uh, means it doesn't need a lock because it already has a lock on the cell tower locations. Now it will not get a GPS lock here because this is in my room. But you just have to trust me that on a nice blue sunny day 
it will basically always work outside so it is a reliable unit um, it doesn't work in, in the house though my iPhone does but this one doesn't I don't know how it's about other trackers but this one doesn't but yeah you will uh, only use this outside so I guess it's a good feature and you just heard the sound on my iPhone that it uh, received an SMS back of the cell tower locations um, so yeah that's how it works and let me actually give you a little bit of specs here um, as you can already you can see it on the eBay link uh, in the video description but let me actually just show you guys uh, as you can see that's 35 and a half millimeters and that's by Forty one, and then the thickness is fifteen point seven millimeters. So that's nice and small. And about the weight, which is also really important. Let me zero this one out. Twenty three grams, approximately twenty four maybe. So that's really good as well. So yeah, it is smaller, lighter, it has a speaker, and it has more battery life as the TK102. It's not expensive, I paid 38 euros for it, and its battery life is also really great. Um, I've read bad, read bad uh, reviews about the battery life on the TK102, but this one actually has a uh, battery life of, I don't know, um, I already uh, asked for battery life a couple of times, and uh, if you send DSP, Hashtag it will give you the battery life um, But act actually it will just stay at 100% until it's at like 25% and then it will count down from 100% to zero and at 10% uh, It will send you uh, alarms that you need to charge it But I've already had this one for three nights straight on without charging the battery and only initial charge and I've asked for GPS coordinates for approximately 15 times and it still shows 100%. So it's still 25% battery or more remaining. So it's battery life is really good. I'm really happy with it. And it's really reliable as well, like I said, if it's outside. So I'm really happy with this unit. I can really recommend it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video review and uh, may it help you out making a choice. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Borg Renex out.